Hello, hello, welcome back everybody to Seven Days to Die. I thought I'd get you guys in on this. I wanted to make sure you guys saw this. I'm going to take on a horde here with just my bow and maybe a melee weapon. But I just wanted you guys to see how sometimes it's easy. These, this is a fairly small group. Um, basically, I can just side skirt them the whole time. I'm basically kiting them. Shooting one, hiding some more. Anyways, these are they look intimidating, and it's a really interesting concept, and I love that they threw this in the game because it adds a huge element to the game. So these guys, if you're in your house and you're crafting or you're smelting or something, and they can sense the heat, which they do do, or you you have meat on you, and they can sense the or they can smell it um, on you, and they come after you. Those hordes can tear down your house like in three seconds. Um, really, you have to attract them, so you kind of have a little bit of control over it. But you definitely don't want one a horde to catch you in your house. Man, I can't hit this girl too. There we go. Anyway, so that's fairly easy to take down a horde. Um, but again, that used up, you know, thirty arrows because I missed quite a bit but I did defend my house and you can hear them coming through the woods you can hear 40 zombies you know you know 15 to 40 zombies just uh, 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 in the desert or in the middle of the woods so um, just be aware that you might want to take them head on you can hide if you're not really crafting anything but you're gonna want you're gonna want to be able to defend your house because you can hide but most of the time I find out, find that they usually end up catching me, so. I'm going to drink some goldenrod tea. Eat some sham. Okay, we got another ingot. So, uh, anyway, so we're going to... We're going to get into crafting a weapon. I've already got some of the pieces, so I showed you how to create a mold. So the molds, all you have to do is stick them in the furnace in the mold section, put some iron in, and then it'll, you know, some firewood, and it'll craft, craft you up um, that item. I'm not going to show that because I want to keep the limited iron I have for a trick I wanted to show you guys, but... Um, anyways, they've already I've already looted some of these, so I want to show you at least the hunting rifle. Um, I've got the stock, the bolt, and a barrel, which is all you need for the rifle. I don't remember how this one exactly goes in here because I don't craft these very often. Um, But uh, you can always search for it like that, and it'll tell you, you put this one here, that one there, and that one there. Hunting rifle craft. Now the problem here is, I don't have any rounds for it, so it's really useless. I just wanted to show you that one um, that I already have. I might already have a shotgun as well. Let's take a look at the pieces for that. Shotgun. So you need the receiver, the pump the barrel, and the stock. So I have a receiver. I want to keep one for a mold. I've got a pump. I've got a, a stock and a barrel. I do have everything to make one. Perfect. I have enough to make two. But again, for the sake of this, let's see. Let's do this so I don't have to wonder. Anyways, yeah, I don't. You don't usually end up needing to build guns that often, so most of the time you'll make it and be done. You'll make it and then you know you won't have to make another one for a long time. So, anyways, that's a shotgun and a hunting rifle. I don't believe I have all the stuff for the pistol yet, um, or I would show you that one. But I'm gonna end up making molds for all of that as well. But I'm just going to throw them in there now. Shotgun, hunting rifle. We want these back in there. Uh, get that in there. So I've got the stock and the receiver for the SMG. 
So yeah, I don't have the pistol. I need the barrel for the pistol. But yeah, anyways, the stocks, you can actually create the stocks if you've um, looked at that, but you can actually, you can make the stocks. So you can make, that's a sniper rifle stock mold, that one's a little bit different, but the rifle stock mold you can make like that. Um, pretty easy. But anyways, you can make that stock and just throw it on a hunting rifle over and over and over again. And that's just wood, so no worries, no issues there. But let's put stuff away real quick. I want to put some of this stuff... I don't really need these. I could probably destroy them because they're not going to be used again ever. But uh, I want to show you my trick here real quick with the iron. Um, I just want to get rid of these molds and stuff so that I don't have to carry those around anymore because I'll forget about it and have them on me for the rest of the freaking game. So... Anyways, just get rid of some of that stuff. But anyways, I want to show you the trick for duplicating, basically, your iron. So, we're, I'm going to show you, we're going to do one piece of iron. So you put it in here, you make forged iron. You're going to make four of them. You put that in there, you make short iron pipes. And you're going to make 12 of them. And then you're going to make... It is... Uh, it's not a frame, it's a... Uh, is it rebar? Not a frame. What is it? Um, hold on one second. Let me, let me try to remember what it is because it's not a frame. It's uh, something else made out of metal, but it's. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. In here. Might be in the building section even. Metal trussing, that's what it is, sorry. Metal trussing, that's what I need. So, you throw the metal trussing in here. You can only make one with one. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened to the design there? Did I mess up? Okay, yep, for whatever reason, I think one of them didn't click in, but that's fine. Um, you're going to have some leftovers anyways, and for this purpose, we were only going to be able to make... Well, we could have made two, technically, but we'll show you from making one. So one makes three. You throw this in here. We want I want to refresh that. I don't want it to have anything stored in there, so take that out. Um, okay, yep. For whatever reason, it dropped it. Anyways, so you put three of those in there. I may need to redo this. Let's do this. Hold on. I want to redo this because I don't want it to be off at all. So I want to show you the pure numbers that you would get from it, basically. Yeah, you would not be able to create two. I must have. I already had short iron pipes on me. That was one piece. It got me three of them. Which is fine, perfect. I already had those on me, I guess. So, okay, so we're gonna do that. So, that's all from one. We're gonna throw that in there. Throw a log on there. And we'll see how many you get out of the, those metal trussings. And it should be two, about two. So from the one piece of iron ingot that I put in there, I made the three trussings, and it should make two. If I remember right, it should make two. Should be two. Anyway, so that's basically a duplication. So we we made, from one piece of iron, we made two. Um, throw this in here. Anyways, you made two, and then a little bit, obviously, because that's... Anyways, yeah, so it was two and then this much. But 
anyways, that's a way you can duplicate your iron um, in order to give yourself a ton of that stuff. So that's that. I showed you how to make guns. I showed you the metal trussing trick. Um, I showed you the molds and stuff like that last episode. Uh, all that good stuff is pretty simple. Um, now, I can show you this. I want to show you this too, I guess. So, in order to repair this, this tool is, it's a tool, anyways, it's got 230 out of 500 durability. If you look at the bottom, it says repair item metal strips. So, if you take one of those, you get five metal strips. Um, you put this in here with this. And you see how what durability it has now, and it went from like right there to there. So you're basically just giving yourself a way to repair a weapon from scratch. So, um, and you can do the same thing with like crossbows, you can throw in there with sticks, um, and their repair item is sticks. So it should, with that many sticks, I should get it 100%. Yep, so that's basically 100%. And if you look at this one, metal strips again. Well, I can't do that, but... I can repair these as well. So, just ways you can repair your tools all through the forge. You're repairing tools, um, you're making iron. Uh, let's see, what did, I, what did I do with my iron? One thing I do want to show you is the tools that I would make first. Um, obviously, the first one is the pick, because you'll want to be able to... Um, you'll want to be able to reproduce the to make more and so the easiest way to get iron is to actually build yourself a mine well not easiest but that's the most effective because you can actually mine raw iron which gives you a lot more output obviously I don't really need that um, because I've got kind of a, that trick I showed you so I don't really need the iron, but there are other things that you can't get from can't get from the what you know from duping or uh, anything like that. So I do recommend um, you can use the the bug if you feel like it. I do to an extent. I make a few um, just to get started, uh, and then I'll go once I've got the pick and a couple pieces of, you know, I'll get a shovel and a couple other things just to get started so that I can fairly easily make a mine. Because if you don't have a shovel, you can't make a, very easily make a mine. If you don't have a pick, your mine is useless. Um, but uh, the reason you'll want this is because you will want to go down deep to get uh, the materials for making gunpowder. Uh, and that's the one thing you will the one reason you will have a mine. And that's the next episode that we'll do here is we'll go through and we'll get a mine started. Uh, it's just going to be a simple, I'm going to dig down, uh, make a staircase type thing or a ramp um, down and we'll get ourselves a mine going. And then I'll show you uh, gunpowder, everything like that. I'll make the mine first and then hopefully we'll run into some of the materials for gunpowder. But Anyways, for now, that's the iron trick, as well as gun creation. Uh, again, I, in order to make bullets for those guns, I'll need to go make a mine. So that's the next step here, in order to get geared up to the teeth with uh, guns. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys, happy crafting! Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, slap that thumbs up. If you didn't, slam the thumbs down. Comment on this video, you can tweet at me. You can also message me on Twitch, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. The links to those will be down in the description.